Hello there, this is Jay Ray. Once again, July 29th, 2008. Da 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 I'm here on this track. Whatever this track may end up being on a CD or video, whatever it is. I'm here on this track to talk about and rant about a little about my job that I currently have. I scoop ice cream and I... I'm a cashier, I guess you could say, except I don't work with the little machine. I just work with a little apron with money in it. Money. Yeah. Um, so anyway, it's with a minor league team that can remain anonymous right now and at this point, And we serve a certain brand of ice cream that could also be nameless, but who knows? You may figure it out. In some way, whatever it may be, looking up anything, I don't know. If you do your research, you may find out what brand of ice cream. Ha ha ha. Um, anyway, that doesn't matter. But anyway, this is my second year doing this, and and talk. And speaking of time, I like to reminisce a little bit and talk about the very first night I had this job. Um, they did not have ice cream scoopers real ones so the very first day i remember they handed me two cookie dough scoopers <laughs> yeah yeah N not good memories it really hurt my hands and it, you know even after two days of work i was like ow something's got to change but anyway and they just pretty much had all the flavors in there there was there was nothing to, there was no big sign or nothing to tell the customers what flavors there were. So, remembering the very first night, first of all, using cookie dough scoopers, which gets the tiniest little things, the tiniest little things, things of ice cream into the cups that I serve. They're mini hats, if you will. Ha ha ha. I think that's the whole allure of it anyway. I think people kind of ignore the price and so, but you get a hat. That's so cool. <laughs> Even though that brings up one and one of the most annoying questions I get is how much for just the hat? And you know, I could just probably be, you know, an ass and just say, oh, it's the same for the ice cream. But no, I, I feel a certain obligation to put ice cream in the thing. Or I could joke around and say the hat's ten bucks, you know. Uh, 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 I don't know. That's not funny, but, um, but anywho. So anyway, opening night. All I gotta say is cookie dough scoopers, and I had to repeat eight flavors a thousand times. So from that point on, I said, "Look, I'm gonna make my own signs, and on the sign it says this line is ice cream only because, for various various reasons, why." And it says, tonight the flavors are, and then I write down with a Sharpie the eight flavors. Uh, last year, they had a big sign behind me that had the prices, so I didn't have to worry about that. But this year, they don't yet. They were supposed to. They said, oh, we're going to get you a big sign. They'll have the prices. Don't worry about it. But not yet. So I also write the prices on the sign. And I printed off many, many copies, and they're ready to go every night, and when flavors don't run out i just leave the sign up there it'll, it'll stay up there it won't get too dirty so you know people can see i hope but okay so i basically described the sign right you can imagine now it has two lines of type and then flavors and prices and yeah yet a couple times i've gotten what i call the trifecta of stupid questions and you can probably guess what those are right now. So, uh, what flavors of ice cream do you have? All I do is point to the sign. Oh, you have a sign. Oh, oh great. <laughs> I mean, trust me, it's fun and everything. It's funny to just look at these stupid people and go, oh my gosh, don't you people look? I mean, you know, everyone's not perfect, but... Can't people look around first? I mean, do they have, I mean, ah, I know, I mean, I know they're just going to enjoy a good game at all, but do they have to be total dumbbells about everything? Do we, ha do, 
Do us concessions people, do we have to hold their hand through everything? Come on, man. So, anyway. That's the first stupid question I get. The second stupid question I get is how much is it? And once again, I just have to point at the sign. It's right there. Okay. Okay, and the other stupid question I get doesn't necessarily have to do with the sign, but with my whole setup. The third dumb question is, where are your spoons? And if you looked around once in a while, you'd see that there are two fountain drink cups full of spoons. So that's the trifecta of stupid questions. I've got it a couple times, and they have been from kids, so, you know, whatever. Kids. <clears throat> they must be blind in the summer. Yet everybody else, too. So, so I write down the eight flavors. And if one of them runs out, I cross it out. I, I don't leave, I don't, <laughs> I'm not that stupid or anything. If a flavor runs out, I cross it out. I put, reach my arm over the little ice cream cooler and you know scratch it out 